is the Fender T Bucket 300 CE um, electroacoustic guitar. It's available in three colours black, blue, or a natural sunburst colour. So I'm going to start with the good points about this guitar. It's relatively cheap. When I bought it, it was about £170, I think. So it's just a budget acoustic guitar. It's probably first and foremost a beginner's guitar. Like I said, it's a Fender make and it feels pretty solid. It has a really nice finish on it as well. It has this like quilted effect on the actual body of the guitar, which is really nice. And some detail around here, um, around the hole. And on the 12th fret, it has the Fender logo, a little F there. Um, I think this is actually an artist series one, so it's actually um, made after some guitarist, I'm not entirely sure. I'll post all the specifications below in the description if you want to find out more of like the technicalities of it. It has a three-way EQ system, um, built-in tuner there and volume control for when you've got it plugged in. The sound, so it has a good sound but when you compare it to for example mid to top range acoustics it's really no comparison. This is a budget guitar and you can tell. So I'll play a few chords sound, um, quite tinny. There's not so much um, resonance in it. The treble cuts across the bass so it's it's not really a balanced tone. Of course these are old strings so if I was to put new strings on it would probably sound um, a little bit better. The, the tone, it's not so much of a warm tone, it's quite a, a harsh tone. It's quite good for strumming like I've just demonstrated. Um, not so much for finger picking as such. I find this um, actually quite a difficult guitar to play simply because it has quite a, a thick neck so say you were a beginner um, that might be something you could struggle with so that's something to bear in mind I would have preferred a slimmer neck but this is a, a jumbo size guitar it's, it is very thick the actual body and the neck the actual action of the strings um, the factory setup was quite high action, especially at the top frets here. So not so good in that respect. Um, I did alter it slightly to bring the action down so it's easier to play at the top. But the intonation does go off key when you get up to like the 12th fret or around the 12th fret. Even when I first got the guitar, it wasn't perfect. So um, don't expect this to be a perfect guitar. It's gonna sound amazing. So if we look more at the electronics here, the the three-way band here, just the three-way EQ, um, I don't very often plug it in. You lose all sense of the acoustic quality of it, which is true for most electroacoustic guitars, but particularly on cheaper ones. So I wouldn't recommend getting it if you want it specifically, if you're going to be using it a lot plugged in. plugged in to a Marshall amplifier so you can hear the difference between unplugged and plugged. Um, no real acoustic sound coming through there. Um, so if I put it um, with the equalisation on bass full and the others off, this is what it sounds like. Then if I put the middle on full. And then treble on full. And 
then I'll just do it as a flat equalisation. a bad sound it's just um, when you like I said compare it to this is the guitar I replaced it with um, a tanglewood um. that has much more of a warmer tone a balanced tone from the the bass and the treble so that course cost more but that's just uh, to compare the two so I'll just play a little bit more so you can get a feel for the tone mm -hmm. So to sum up, this is the Fender 2 Bucket 300CE um, electroacoustic guitar. So the good points, nice solid body, a nice finish on it, uh, good solid feel, relatively cheap, um, good for a beginner. The bad points can sound a bit tinny at times. Action setup is quite high on the fretboard. Not so good intonation once you reach the higher frets um, and quite a thick um, fretboard as well which is quite difficult if you're a beginner. And the sound quality from the preamp within the guitar when you plug it in is not too great so really good beginner guitar but to be honest I wouldn't use it for more than that. Um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me, post them below and I'll respond and that about sums up the review so thank you for watching.